Welcome to this video. Today we are testing the free version of AVG and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 350 samples in total and we will be using these samples to see how well AVG does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. If you like these type of videos and would like to support the production, go ahead and hit the join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection here in AVG. We'll let it sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect any of those samples on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's samples remaining after the scan, we will scan the samples folder directly. And if there's still samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. We are up to date. The protection is now enabled and we will wait a few minutes. Multiple minutes have passed. I have not noticed anything pop up. Let's double check our samples folder and it looks like we're still at 350. So at this point, let's go ahead and run a scan. We're going to do a deep scan and we're going to let this run until it's fully completed. It looks like the scan has completed and it has multiple detections found. However, it is showing that five were not successfully quarantined, but we're going to go ahead and click on done. And looking at our samples folder, we are down to 49. We're going to scan directly and we'll let this complete. Directly scanning found additional threats, so we're going to click on done. And we are now down to 20. Let's try it just one more time just to be thorough. We're going to scan again and we'll let this run. Nothing additional was found. At this point, we're going to execute. Execution has completed and we've got some additional junk in the samples folder as well as stuff that was installed. I did see it detect at least one sample and remove it. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to run one more deep scan just to see if it can detect anything after the fact. And we will let this run and complete. The final scan came back with zero results found. And so at this point, we're going to restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with malware bytes, came back with 12 detections. MZSoft came back positive with the results, so we'll go ahead and delete it. After all of that, we're down to 43 items in the samples folder. If I remove the junk that was added to the samples folder, that leaves us with 11 samples remaining that were missed by all the scans that were ran. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. AVG may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take those results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the thanks button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.